With the camping season literally just around the corner, here's a video that focuses on some rules, some etiquettes that you should follow when you're camping. Whether you're new to this, whether you're an experienced camper, it's always good to understand what those etiquettes are for you and your fellow campers to have a great time at the campgrounds. The first one is a very, very common one and it happens more than you think, which is when you rent your camping space for the time you're here, that's your space. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't respect that and they will just cut through the site because it's easier so they don't have to walk around your campsite to go to places excuse me sorry what well i'm just going to the beach well this is my site don't be like that guy the second one is also a very very common occurrence and it is speeding within the campground there are typically speed limits in the campground and they're there for a reason there's kids running around kids on bicycles pets so please adhere to the speed limit. Plus that way you don't get a face full of dust. Like, uh oh. <coughs> the third one happens more often than you think as well. And that is respecting the check-in and check-out time. Now depending on where you're camping, you may have different check-in and check-out times, but always check before you go camping. Here at all the provincial parks, check-in and check-out is 2 p.m. It happens quite often where you're enjoying your site and people are early. That want to occupy your site and they just don't give you any room to leave and back up now also respect the checkout time if the checkout is time is 2 p.m make sure you're packed up and you're gone by 2 p.m don't be like this guy hey buddy it's my site when uh, when do you think you're leaving but it's only 11 i have the site till 2 p.m if you're enjoying this content and getting value out of it, please smash that like button. It really helps to push this video out to a larger audience. And subscribe as well. That way you get notified when we post a new video moving forward. One of the great activities while camping is having a campfire. Now, first of all, make sure there isn't a burn van. Make sure you use the designated area, whether there's a fire pit or anything else, don't create a fire outside. More so, most campgrounds sell firewood if you're not a big fan of the firewood that the campsite provide there's typically local vendors in the area where you can buy some some seasoned wood but whatever you do don't go in the forest don't be picking up sticks and logs from the campsite specifically when you're in, a, in the nature in the provincial park if everybody does this there's soon not going to be any forest left so please don't be like this guy ah, look at this firewood you know, saves me 10 bucks not having to buy it in the store. <laughs> awesome. This is a very common occurrence as well. Of course, when you're camping, cooking, you're gonna have garbage and recycling. And what I see a lot of people not properly disposing of it, they either leave it around, sitting around the campsite, worse, putting it in the fire pit. Nobody wants to burn the other people's garbage. So when you have garbage, just bring it to the proper spot, whether there's a recycling depot, garbage depot, get rid of it. It's not only unhygienic to keep it on your site, it also attracts wildlife. Now, some may dream spotting a bear or a raccoon, but nothing is worse than waking up the next morning and seeing your garbage all over your site because an animal got into it. Don't be like this guy. Oh man, so much garbage, but I don't want to worry about it here. You take my garbage. So the next one is one that happens a lot as well. People want to have a good time while camping and I fully understand that whether that's listening to music, singing around the campfire, all are great activities but keep in mind that there's people around you that may not have the same enjoyment you're seeking while camping. Some people come for, for nature, calmness and they don't want to listen to your music at 2 a.m. in the morning like this guy listening to music literally all day, every day. This one happens more than you think as well, and that's using a drone on the campsite. Now, depending on where you are, this may or may not be allowed. So always check the rules and regulations. In national parks or here provincial parks in Ontario, landing and taking off a drone from your provincial park is not allowed. So while you can get some epic shots with a drone, and I totally get it, I'm a drone owner myself. It's very tempted to do so, but a, it's not allowed, you can get a big fine, and it's just not a nice experience for the people around you when they hear this buzzing sound flying around you. So, you know, don't be like this guy. This one happens a lot as when you're in nature, you should respect nature. So that's adhering to trails, not putting any nails in the tree to hang your tarps for Tarp City, 
and simply don't have your kids cut down trees and hit foliage just with stick like this this guy this next scenario is very situational depending on where you are but if you are camping in a more nature setting a provincial park a national park a lot of people like to string up party lights and that's perfectly okay have some lights on their campsite which is fine as well but there are people that don't want to enjoy your very bright led lights all night so if you do like some lights at the campsite that's fine shut them off when you go to bed because nobody wants to you know be blinded by the lights literally when they're in the campsite across from you when you put on your thousand led bars and completely get blinded like i'm right now the next one occurs quite a bit as well and I think this is really just due to a lack of education or awareness and I don't think people realize they've been doing it. When you're camping and you're having a great time cooking food, eating meals, of course you're gonna have dishes. So when you have dishes make sure you wash them at an appropriate spot. A lot of people what I see do they do their dishes on the site which is fine but what they do is they dispose the water just in the forest. Now why is this a bad thing? First of all, typically there's food residue, there's food smells, there's soap, which attracts wildlife and could kill vegetation as well. So when you're in nature, you can still do your dishes on your site, but either dispose the water down the full toilet, the comfort station, or do your dishes at the comfort station. Not like this guy. And the same accounts for showers as well. I see a lot of people with like an on-site shower and wow, very convenient to, you know, spay off yourself after a day at the beach or a long hiking trail. Totally get it, but get rid of the wastewater appropriately. This is a very common one as well. When you go camping, it's a great opportunity to spend time fam with family, make memories and bring your four-legged friends like I bring my dogs. Now, when you bring your dogs, there are some rules you need to be aware of. First of all, pick up after your dog. Nobody wants to enter a campsite after you leave and find there's literal dog poo everywhere. So please don't do that. Further to that is, depending on the campsite, depending where you are here in Ontario at the provincial parks, dogs need to be leashed at all times unless there's an off-leash dog area. More often than not, I find people letting their dogs run loose and you may have the nicest dog in the world, the, well the most well-behaved dog in the world, but at the end of the day you are in nature, there's wild animals, there's food attractants everywhere. So do you really want your dog to get sprayed by a skunk or get stung by a porcupine? So please follow the rules, put your dog on a leash like I'm doing right now. And that way everybody can have a great experience. Accounts for trails, this accounts for beaches. Just follow the rules and put your dog on the leash. Other people may not like dogs, they may be terrified of dogs. Or in my example with this guy, whenever I take this guy for a walk at a provincial park, he is terrified because he got attacked so many times at a provincial park when it wasn't his fault. So please follow the rules, put your dog on the leash. So that are all the rules to have a better camping experience for you and the people around you. If we missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. In addition, if you enjoyed this video, you got value out of it, please smash that like button, it really helps. And subscribe as well. That way you get notified when we post more videos moving forward. Why don't you check out this video here where we de-winterize the trailer and get it ready in sheer minutes. And this video as well, where we'll show you what is upcoming for the 2023 season. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be a very great season.